Hi, this is Lady Shell. I'm back again with another tutorial on Fantasy Grounds. However, this time I'm not going to be making a character. I'm going to be showing you how to manage a character after you created it. Now, if you imagine that I am on the table, which I am, I'm logged into my own game. Uh, I'm using the character Barbie, as you can see her up here. And I want to save this character to use in another campaign. I'm going to type backslash save and you can see it says character data is saved. Okay, now when I leave the table, before I leave the table, I want to know what books I used. So um, in this case, I know that the only books that I used to create this character was the player's handbook. So if I was to want to level this character up to a different level, say I needed it for level five in another campaign that I was going to be in, I would have to have the player's handbook on my own table to do so. So we have our character saved. We're going to exit the table. And this is the proper way to exit the table when you're done. You want to click exit program and then I want to go, because I'm going to want to manage the character afterwards, I'm going to want to return to the launcher. If you were just exiting the program completely, you would be clicking on the exit program. So let's go return to the launcher. Okay. Now. What I want to do is I want to go to Manage Characters. This was ca a character I created in 5e, we'll set. So I click that. And then you need to know the name of the campaign that it was saved under. Now I saved it under Create Characters Here. So I'm going to click on Create Characters Here. Generally speaking, the people that, um, if you were attending a class on an Fantasy Grounds College, and they usually call their uh, campaigns CC 101 or some derivative of that. But in this case, this is where I know that it's saved. So I'm going to click Start now. And then it's going to load up my own table. And you'll notice that the table looks a little differently than it did when you were on someone else's table. There'll be a, little, a few less options because you're only managing the character. Now we can click out of this, we can click characters, and there is Barbie. So I, as you can see, well, I don't know why it saved that, but it doesn't, it's not supposed to save the um, portrait. I guess it saves the token, but not the portrait. So I have my character and I want to use her in another campaign. And you can see I can do nothing to this character. I can't make changes. I can't edit. Uh oh, I can roll, but I can't edit. Um, yeah, you can't make any changes to your character in this mode. You can change your dice color, but I don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm going to want to export this character so that I can use it in another game. To do that, I will get it from character selection. I'm going to click the export character down arrow. And this is where am I going to save it? I'll just save it into documents. Okay, we're going to call her Barbie because that's her name. Whoops, Barbie. And it saves it as an XML file. So there is our character saved. Exported character Barbie. That shows you that it was exported. So now I can take it and, and use it in another campaign. And that's about all I needed to tell you. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave comments in the bottom of the video. And I appreciate your viewership. And I hope you will follow our, our, our uh, Fancy Grounds College YouTube channel. And if you have any suggestions for things that you would like me to make videos on, just uh, leave that in the comments and I will be reading them. I thank you again. Bye-bye.